Anno Domini 2020. What a long day this has been. We got off to a great start with plans to travel, discover new opportunities, improve ourselves, and take our careers and relationships to the next level. There was hope. But then, the unexpected happens, and suddenly all our grand plans and schemes and designs, sport, travel, even shaking hands and breathing air got cancelled, and the world was left hopeless and locked up in a prison of despair and uncertainty. But we said no. Strength will not be cancelled. We took steps, pulled a rabbit out of a hat, and created world's ultimate strongman feats of strength. And we got lambasted, to say the least. People called us outlandish, insane, irresponsible, even accused us of taking the sport backwards. But then... The fickle finger of fate just flipped the fans from fuming to foaming and famished for more feats of strength. You get the point. So what happened next? We made history and we became the most viewed strength feats of all time. Here's why and here's how. Hafthor deadlifted half a ton, plus one. Luke almost lifted the heaviest log. Rob lifted the heaviest log in American history, and Andrea lifted the heaviest log ever by a woman. Tom and Rhiannon lifted the heaviest stones. Alexi repeatedly lifted a 100 kilo dumbbell over his head. Jerry, Rauno, Adam, and JF deadlifted 400 kilos over and over again. Rauno came out on top. Terry and Mikhail proved that 40 is the new 20, and our very own grumpy, angry Scotsman, Mark Boyd, pulled four times his body weight. Not on the show, but the next day. So what now? Will heavier stones and logs be lifted while records fall? And is there anyone out there who could deadlift half a ton, plus two or more? Guess there's only one way to find out. And World's Ultimate Strongman is back for season two, Feats of Strength. I'm Mark Boyd, co-owner, co-founder of World's Ultimate Strongman, with the legend himself, our co-host, Lauren Shally. How are we, Laws? I'm excited, Mark. We're back for season two. Season one, obviously. Nice quick recap there from Don. Unbelievable show. Some incredible feats of strength. And now we've got new contenders ready to do even more. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Today, we are in Estonia and Georgia with the season one winner, Rauno Heinler up against the, the current world record holder, Konstantin Janashia. This is going to be an exciting one, indeed. Yeah, Rauno has been looking incredible in training. He um, recently posted a video of him posting up six reps, which beats the world record. And I did an interview with him recently, Mark, and he told me he's going to pull eight. I don't know if wow. he's capable of that, but I hope, I sure hope we see it. That, that would be a, a huge landmark. I think that if you're pulling eight reps at 400 kilos, surely you have the, the half-ton deadlift in you. Without question. I think if you're going to hit eight reps, you've got to be a 500-plus kilo deadlifter. So he set out a big marker. Can he do it? Obviously, we want to see the record broken, but eight is a big number to set. And, and he's going against the man, Janashia, an absolute animal in the deadlift. One of the best deadlifters on the planet. What do you think Janasha will hit today? Well, Janasha's um, currently co-record holder on this event. You know, there's three men in history that have pulled five reps. JF Caron, Janasha, and Rauno Heinler with 400 kilos. It's, it's a big, big ask. I mean, I don't know what kind of shape he's in. I spoke to Zadrunas recently who said he was pulling three quite comfortably in training. He's a huge deadlifter. He's got about five traps to help him pull these deadlifts. <laughs> you, know, you see this man, he's a freak of nature. Unbelievable deadlifter. I think this is going to be one hell of a battle between these two men. Oh, he's definitely been quiet during the lockdown, whether that's he's been unable to train or whatnot, but it's going to be definitely an interesting one, um, getting Janasha going head-to-head -head with Rauno on this. But... Next week, we will be having another athlete, the wildcard athlete, Trey Mitchell, who will be battling it out for that, that world record title in the 400 kilos. What do you think of Trey? Trey's a great athlete. I, I met Trey for the first time a couple of years back. I competed with him, actually, in um, North America. And he was new to the international scene, 
put in a fantastic performance. You know, he, he got to World's Strongest Man last year, made the final. He, his stone lifting ability is incredible. He's a very, very good deadlifter. I've seen some of the numbers he's been lifting in training. I'm excited to see him. Well, I'm, I'm definitely excited to see that. What, what numbers has he been hitting in training? Do you know? I believe he was doing sort of the 900 plus pounds for, for two or three reps. So, you know, 10 kilos more than, than we're doing for this record attempt. I don't know if he's ready to break the world record, if I'm totally honest, but he's yeah. looked very, very strong in training. And, you know, we, we've got to see how these two men do first. Like, like we've said so far, with the amount of guys that have gone for 400 for, for reps, it's a tough record to break. You really need so much more top-end strength to get that extra rep. Rauno's, I think Rauno was angry that he didn't get the record first time round. He, yeah. He's been training like a madman on the deadlift. Uh, we've all seen the video of him in training. The question is now, does he deliver under the pressure of, of lifting when you have to on a set time, on a set date? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I wonder if his technique is going to change from season one. I know a lot of the guys were taking a little bit of a rest after rep four. Um, whether that technique is going to change this time round, it'll be interesting to see. We made that weight look pretty easy there, didn't we? <laughs> he's, looking, he's looking fired up. Uh, they've, got, they've got to utilise that time period. It's very difficult because, like we say... Once, you, once your body goes with this kind of weight, you, you need more than 60 seconds to recover. So yeah. sometimes it's about not expending that total energy straight away. You know, some, some guys just go for as many as they can in one go. The issue with that is you're going to burn out straight away. The problem is, is resting 10, 20 seconds enough to really help you recover? It's, it's, honestly, it's probably not. You may, maybe no. go for five and then rest and then go for that one extra rep. But unless you're capable of those numbers with this time limit you're either going to pull it or you're not i don't think waiting 5 10 15 20 seconds makes any real difference Not that kind of flavor. That kind. Then add a floral punch of lychee, slammed into a tangy burst of lilac corn. Give it zero sugar, but still make it taste good. Paradise good. Then pack it with power, so you can outdo you. That's what goes into New Rain Lilac Corn Lychee. A total body fuel. At Casa Water, we have a clear vision to create an independent water retailer providing an excellent water service to all our customers at the best possible price. We're now the second largest water retailer in the UK, servicing more than 350,000 customers. Visit castlewater.co.uk to find out more, get an instant quote and switch to the UK's leading independent water retailer.
animal is a state of being. It's right where discipline collides with intensity, and you either have it or you don't. Now, some of us are born with it. Others, well, they just have to work harder than everyone else to get it done. So ask yourself, am I driven? Motivated? Disciplined? I adapt. I push my limits. I persevere. I am animal. So we have 400 kilos deadlift for repetitions, as many repetitions as possible in 75 seconds. The athletes must be using a standardized bar. That can be an Olympic bar, a Texas barbell, any barbell they want, as long as it's within the, the dimensions that we have given them. They must use calibrated plates and each repetition must be fully locked out at the top, hips through, knees locked out, in order for the repetition to count, the athlete must not drop the bar. Um, sort of no rules barred in terms of the athletes are allowed to wear suits. They're allowed to wear figure of eight straps, deadlift straps, belt. Um, talcum powder is allowed. Baby oil is allowed on the legs. So yeah, um, a bit of a no rules barred in, in that sense to get the best possible outcome for these athletes. Yeah, it's going to be... Um... Some some big big numbers being pulled today, I think. I think these guys are going to come fired up, ready to to break that record. We 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 saw people get so close last time out. I know Rauner wants it. I'm interested to see what kind of shape that Janash is in. If he's in shape, he's he's an incredible deadlifter. Um, I, I think we're in for an exciting show. No, for sure. And I've just noticed on the warm ups, I think Janash is going to be using an Olympic barbell. Whether that's going to affect him, maybe that's something he's been training on in the lead up to this. So, Texas barbell for Rauno and Olympic barbell for Janashia. Maybe that's a personal choice. I don't know. It's, what do you think, Loz? It's an interesting choice. I'm not sure how it's going to affect. I mean, different bars do pull slightly differently. That You know, they can be stiffer, they can get more flex. There, there is different pull to them. But. Essentially, when you're strong, you, you get out there and you, you pull these reps. And, you know, that's what strongman's all about. I've, I, I know myself and these guys have had to compete on axles, you know, various different types of bars in different types of competitions. At the end of the day, if you're strong, you're ready for it. You, you, you're prepared on the equipment as well. And that's, that's the advantage yeah. these guys do have for these records is they've been able to prepare on this kit. That's the, the one big advantage there is. So he's had the opportunity to choose any bar he wants. That's the one he's gone for. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah, it's definitely a point to keep in mind. These athletes have been training on these pieces of equipment, which is an advantage when it comes to competition day. If, if you've been using the same equipment, it definitely helps out on the day. I know from experience laws for, with yourself and with myself competing, you sometimes turn up and the, the log, for example, is two or three inches thicker than normal or, or what you're used to using. So this is definitely an advantage for the guys. Yeah, w without question. I mean, d deadlift's one of the, there's the least amount of, of advantage really from, from deadlifting on your own bar. Whereas, you know, a lot of competitions where with farmers walks, yokes, even Atlas stones and stuff like that, having that familiarity is definitely a big, big bonus. Estonia, with a proud history of weightlifting, wrestling, and cross-country skiing, Estonia has collected a total of 41 Olympic medals. Quite an achievement for a country of only 1.3 million people. A leader in the digital world, Estonia was the first state to hold elections over the internet and the first to provide e-residency. As the digital world and weightlifting come together, will Rauno Heinle lead the world with his deadlift? When I, when I was very young, I was 10 years old, and my gymnastic teacher took me to a bench press competition. And I remember I did 27 kilograms or something. And strongman, I start 18 years old. I have done that already 20 years. My first biggest win was 2017. I won Arnold Brazil, 2018 I won Arnold Australia and 
last year, me and Cherry Richard, we both was tie in World Deadlift Championship. We did 455 kilograms. Definitely, I want to do World Deadlift records. So I want to lift over 502 kilograms. I don't know how much I need to do for this competition because right now, many guys who's around 500, but definitely I, wa I want to get this world record. I have been only in World's Strongest Man one time, 2011, and definitely I want to get there more, and my biggest dream is to get to the podium. Just keep training and push it harder. And here we are in Estonia, where Rauno Heinla is warming up. We saw a few warm-up lifts earlier. He's getting fired up, was He is. I mean, what's amazing about Rauno is how long he's been doing this for. He was saying there he's been training for 20 years. You know, yeah. it, this this type of strength doesn't happen overnight. And this guy is a, is a grafter. He wasn't always at this level. He's just worked and worked and worked, got better and better. His first big wins came just a couple of years ago. And he, even now, kind of closing in on his 40s, he's improving all the time. It's fantastic to see. There's no sign of him kind of wanting to stop or give up. His sights are set on the... He wants this record today, but he's talking there about the world record max deadlift as well. Yeah. And he's got that opportunity to do that later on in the season. But for now, he wants the 400 kilos for reps. Yeah, a little warm-up for him, the 400 kilos for repetitions. Um, and as you say, 20 years in a sport, 20 years in anything, uh, you're going to become very experienced, and, and, he's, and he is definitely one of the more experienced athletes in the circuit at the minute, and one of the best deadlifters at that. His, his deadlift is what he excels on. He, I mean, he's, a, he's a good all-round strongman, but the deadlift is without question. He's really made it his event these last few years. He's confident on it. He believes he can ch chase for that world record. And I think out of all the guys we've seen, he's definitely looked the closest to breaking this record. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Definitely from the training videos and season one, I'm confident that, that he has the capability of doing it. Um, but we'll find out very soon on that. From, from when I had a chat with him just recently, you know, he's telling me eight reps. You see that video of him doing six reps. You kind of, you know, I know how hard 400 is. So I've, I've yeah. always got to remind myself. The only issue is he's trying to do too much deadlifting right now. It's, it's going to be, has he peaked at the right time? That's the big question. Yeah. I think if he has, this record's going to get smoked. No, for sure. I know you said you've felt 400. I've also felt 400 a few times. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, to do that for repetitions, it's unbelievable. It's, it's crazy, crazy. We see, we see it every single show, but 400 kilos for one rep. Let, yeah. let's, let's get that right. 300 kilos for one rep <laughs> is a fantastic deadlift. Yeah. 400 is just ridiculous. It really is. And he, here he goes with another warm-up lift, setting the tone for the day. Oh, flying. Flying up. <laughs> It makes them just look so effortless. It's... I, I think we're going to see a, a record today. I really do. With the, the kind of training he's been showing us, I, 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 honestly, I honestly believe we're going to see a new world record today with this event. The only yeah. question is, are we going to see two records today with Janasha? Is Janasha, you know, he's not here to just make up numbers. I love how chilled out he is. He's, he's still similar to... Uh, what he was like in season one he's very chilled very relaxed as you can see there he's on his phone at the side just getting his nervous system firing getting it warmed up but he's super chill i guess when you've been doing this stuff as long as he has it's just another day in the office he knows what he's capable of he's here to he's going to stay relaxed and focus on the job We started with a can, added 200, no 250, no 300 milligrams of natural caffeine, extracted from plants. Yeah, plants. So you could do this, but not this. Vitamins B3, B6, B12, you're welcome. 
BCAAs. That just happened. Plus electrolytes, because sweat, and CoQ10, because we had room. And then we made it taste good, without the sugar. Now, go drink it. That's how we made rain. Total body fuel. At Castle Water, we have a clear vision to create an independent water retailer providing an excellent water service to all our customers at the best possible price. We're now the second largest water retailer in the UK, servicing more than 350,000 customers. Visit castlewater.co.uk to find out more, get an instant quote and switch to the UK's leading independent water retailer. Animal is a state of being. It's right where discipline collides with intensity, and you either have it or you don't. Now, some of us are born with it. Others, well, they just have to work harder than everyone else to get it done. So ask yourself, am I driven? Motivated? Disciplined? I adapt. I push my limits. I persevere. I am animal. And we are over to Georgia, where Constancy Janasha is warming up in the back, getting ready. You can see there, they've got the calibrated plates. They'll be warming up with the bumper plates, I think, and then getting the calibrated ones out for the main lift. Is he, is he using different bars to warm up on? I'm not quite sure. We'll need to... He's in the back room at the moment. Look. Yeah, he's, def he's in the back room using different plates. You can see how small that bar looks. <laughs> that's just might be just because he's such a big man <laughs> he really is huge yeah, he's I massive yeah i remember a competition i saw him last year and he really beefed up on some size yeah i just looked at him he looked really unfit i said you're not comfortable are you he said i'm just fat right now <laughs> <laughs> but he he, he he kind of got a little bit too big whereas he sort of he looks like trimmer right now yeah like he's brought his body weight down a bit we haven't seen him compete since World's Strongest Man last year where he picked up an injury. So I'm, I'm interested to see what kind of shape he's in. I know this guy's an incredible deadlifter. But yeah. I'm just, I know over in Georgia, he, he wasn't able to train for a little bit this year due to obviously the situation with the, the global pandemic. But he's back training hard now. Is it enough time to see him at his best on his deadlift? At his best, he is a monster deadlifter. So I really hope he's had enough time to prepare. Georgia, one of the oldest wine-producing regions in the world, Georgia is an ancient territory that has watched empires rise and fall. A mountainous country home to a people known for their physical prowess, it is said that the Romans were fascinated by the training techniques of the Georgian people and that Greco-Roman wrestling incorporates many Georgian elements. With a proud history behind him, Constantine is here to show that the world still has more to learn from the Georgians. 
Standing at six foot five and weighing in at 390 pounds, born in Kutaisi, Constantine was a rugby player in his youth, and the year the Strongman Federation started in Georgia, he began training strongman at the age of 18. He had been watching Lithuanian legend Zadruna Saviskas, who was a major influence and inspiration for Constantine. Constantine's biggest achievements to date are second place at Europe's Strongest Man, nine times Georgia's Strongest Man, four-time World's Strongest Man finalists, and he's the current record holder for the 400 kilo deadlift for reps shared with J.F. Caron and Rauno Heidler. So we're back, back to Georgia. Janasha is doing the sort of final, final tweaks, getting himself set up. You can see there he's got the, the deadlift suit on. How much do we think the deadlift suit helps in these conditions, Laws? Deadlift suit, it definitely helps. It depends on the athlete, though. Some athletes get a lot out of a deadlift suit. Rauno is one of those guys, actually. Rauno really gets a lot out of a deadlift suit. Someone like Janasha, he's just a naturally powerful guy. I've seen him deadlift huge weights with no suit. He'll have the suit on for the, for the reps, this many reps. He, he's trying to keep that, the, the hips nice and protected. You yeah. know, he, he, he doesn't want to beat himself up too much with every single rep. And like we said, 400 kilos, huge, huge weight on the body. Um, but... The suit is an interesting one. There's some people that can put it on and get 20, 30, 40 kilos out of a, a deadlift suit. Some other people actually find it harder to pull. And it, yeah. you know, the, suit, the suit gives you that little bit of pop off the floor. So if you're a little bit weaker off the floor but strong at lockout, you tend to find it can really help. Whereas if it's the other way around you're lifting, sometimes you don't get quite as much out of the suit. One thing's for sure, if, if, if beards give you power, this man is going to be coming in strong. Because that is a, that's a magnificent <laughs> that, looking beard he's got going is, there. It's well groomed as well. It is. It yeah, is. He's, I think he's got he's the been, brush to that. He's been looking after that, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was my quarantine beard. <laughs> but yeah, you can see there, he's got the strap, getting strapped up. Yeah, most of the, the really big guys use the straps on the deadlift suits. Two and a half. Okay, total is 400 kilograms. Yes. And we're back over to Estonia. It looks like the bar is loaded. I think Big Z has assured us that 400 kilos is on that bar, weighed and ready to go. We can see Rauno Heinler here getting strapped into that deadlift suit. He's ready to go. Yeah, look how tight it is. He, he gets a lot out of the suit. And, and I'm excited to see this. Rauno promised me eight reps. I, I think more realistically, six or seven. But I hope he does it. It's, it's going to be... I mean, we know how impressive five is. That's the most we've ever seen. Well, Let's remember that. When a man all he needs is it, six. He needs <laughs> six. He needs I'm six gonna, to get that record. I'm getting excited. I'm going to pick seven, Mark. How many are you going for? Oh, well, considering they got five, I think five is on the definitely on the cards. I'm going to go with five. Let's see. But that's six. I'm trying to be a believer. He he promised me eight, and eight I think is that's a stretch, but. I, I want to believe that after 20 years of hard graft and determination to keep coming back, this guy has gone through the same injury I have. He's torn his, his Achilles and he's managed to get back to top level strongman. That's something that not many people have been able to do. So I've got a little bit of a soft spot for him and I'm, I'm maybe getting drawn into the excitement a little yeah. bit. I want to see him get this. He's suited and booted. Ready to go. I think he's going to get the chalk on. Is it the chalk? Or the salts? The smelling yeah, salts? The ammonium. Oh, Gives definitely. Real... Oh, definitely the ammonium. He's getting fired up now. This is it. Rauno Heinler is going for the 400 kilo deadlift for repetitions. A world record. Can we see it? Gets himself mentally prepared. It's as much mental as physical, these type of record attempts. You have to believe you can do it before you actually do. He's got to visualise himself picking this weight up again and again and again. He's done five before in, in 
contest. He's done six in training. That's the target, and in his head, I know he wants more than that. So Drunas is looking on. So Raono is ready. Then take your position. So Drunas Savickis, our official referee for the feats of strength. Bit of a legend. Well, he is a legend in the sport. Oversighting this event today. Commanding Rauno to strap himself in. Ready to go. He's got the figure of eight straps. He's just getting everything perfectly set. He wants his hands exactly how he, wants. he, he sets up every single time. Okay, three, two, one. Up onto his feet. So referee can give signal. He's been told he can start. One last little bit of air. That's the issue with these kind of tight suits and stuff. It's hard to breathe. So he'll get as much air in as he can before he starts. Wiggles his feet into position. And we're away. 75 seconds. Very Here we solid. Go. Solid first rep. There's two. This is flying. Three reps already. He's looking powerful. Four. Come on. And you can hear the impact, 400 kilos smashing off the floor, He's got wow. five reps already. That is five. 20 seconds. Ooh. That bar is flying. No, this is the point. All nice. these position moves, like getting down on your knees, is it clever? Can he recover? Has he expended too much energy? We'll see when he gets back on his feet. He has five repetitions in the bag. He's equaled what he'd done last time, and he's looked better this time round. He's looked a lot more solid. Tries to get himself into position again. It's that breathing that gets you. He needs to get that air in. Come on, pull it, Rauno. Pull it. Come on. Has he got it? He's fighting. He's fighting. And yes. he's got it. That is, that is strong. That just shows you, like, oh, for a minute there, I think he's <coughs> catching his breath. That shows you how much compression is in that, that suit there. I, like I am happy. That breathing, it just takes out. What's Zadrunas saying there? Zadrunas is Big happy. Trip. As happy as Zadrunas gets anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Round so that was six solid reps there. Incredible performance. Let's have a look. Locked yeah, out there, solid. knees locked out. Good solid yeah. rep. Comes up, past the knees, hips through, knees locked out. And locked, yep. Yeah. They're good reps. Solid there. reps. Let's see from the side angle. Yeah. I mean, how powerful did he look with those first five as well, Mark? And it was, it was so consistent. The, the speed of the breaking from the floor was consistent. Just on that last one, you had to sort of grind them out. But overall, those first five flew up. A six reps is an incredible, incredible performance. I, I, it's going to be very, very hard for Janasha to beat that. Obviously, it's a world record. First time we've seen... I mean, he, he did do this in training. Let's, let's kind of point that out. And he was promising yeah. me eight. But I'm going, to, I'm going to let him off for not getting eight. <laughs> yeah. Six is truly incredible. It's such a, an incredible magnificent feat of strength 400 kilos not long ago was world record for maximum world record for one rep and Ronos just did it for six to set the 400 kilo deadlift world record for repetitions brilliant work
At Castle Water, we have a clear vision to create an independent water retailer providing an excellent water service to all our customers at the best possible price. We're now the second largest water retailer in the UK, servicing more than 350,000 customers. Visit castlewater.co.uk to find out more, get an instant quote and switch to the UK's leading independent water retailer. Animal is a state of being. It's right where discipline collides with intensity, and you either have it or you don't. Now, some of us are born with it. Others, well, they just have to work harder than everyone else to get it done. So ask yourself, am I driven? Motivated? Disciplined? I adapt. I push my limits. I persevere. I am animal. Twenty-five, and we are over to Constantine Janashia. We can see here he's uh, getting cooled down, nice and relaxed behind the scenes. Yeah, he's got some family members there just looking after him. I don't know if that's mum there, kind of cooling him down, but he's <laughs> he's just staying nice and relaxed. So it's four hundred two kilograms. Four hundred two kilograms. It's fine for me. Janash is a, a really interesting character as well. You know, he's he's quite a funny guy. He actually does speak pretty good English when you kind of talk to him. Um, a lot of people don't think he can speak English, but he speaks okay. And he's really burst onto the scene over the last few years. Placed fourth was his highest placing at World's Strongest Man. First year going to Worlds as well. He, he really did well. He's, he's performed extremely well at Europe's Strongest Man and other big shows all over the world. He's, he's a, an elite level athlete, one of the best, and again, another man that loves a deadlift. And the man to put Rauno in his place, he's set the target of six repetitions. Can we see more? Six is huge. I know I'm, I'm, <laughs> I probably seem like a, an excited puppy, but six is such a massive, massive number with this kind of weight. I think it's going to be a challenge. I really do. I don't want to sort of put, put Janasha down. I just feel I haven't seen him compete since World's Strongest Man last year. And that's I haven't really seen many training videos of him other than Zadrunas telling me that he, he's seen Janasha pulling 400 for three in the gym. We need to see how that translates. What do those reps look like? You know, hopefully if he's hitting three in training, he's got four or five in him at least. But we saw, we saw um, Rauno hitting six comfortably in training and only managing six just today. So you just never know. You never know how people peak. It's, it's all about what you bring on the day that counts. Yeah, for sure. You can see how many guys are around him, hustling and bustling around him to make sure he's ready, he's primed and good to go. That's what I love about this sport is, is it's got that, that sense of camaraderie where everyone gets around each other to get the best out of the athletes. Oh, I mean, definitely. I mean, Mark, everyone knows me as, a, as an athlete, but you, you in the last series, you obviously went for the 400 kilos. And unfortunately, on the day, you didn't get it. 
yeah. you know, to, is it is it hard to to actually have to peak because people kind of talk about peaking for comps and stuff like that but these guys have to make sure they're on shape at the right time it's not just going into the gym when they want to pull they're told yeah. a certain date a certain time they've got to match up with other athletes around the world particularly on these head-to-head -head events it's not the easiest and 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 yourself you know <laughs> you went and pulled the 400 the day after i believe yeah 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 it's and and a lot of that was maybe the pressure of actually doing it in front of an audience, a live audience. Um, a few factors were involved, obviously, with the, the tights not being on, but it's definitely, there's definitely a lot of pressure on you when you're in this situation. You can yeah. see there, Janashia has a little bit of a, an audience watching, and obviously all of us here at home tuning in, so there's definitely pressure on Janashia for this one. Yeah. You, know, he'll, he, you want to perform, even if it is just friends and family that are supporting you, you want to perform at your best when people are watching. Yeah. And obviously knowing there's a global audience watching as well, that just adds to the pressure. So and without that, is. without that huge kind of crowd, it is a bit strange sometimes. I and mean, we saw with, with Rounder there, it was very quiet. Yeah. And take your position. You know, trying to lift world record level performances. Without that atmosphere, it's odd, even though you know it's, it's being watched by so many people. Here he is. He's lined himself up. So he's commanded him to get into position. So he's got the, um, he's got the weightlifting bar there. The Three, bumper two, plates. one, lift. Let's see, let's see how it goes. First rep, we'll know what he's looking at. Six is to beat. First rep goes up. Not as easy as I'd like to see it. Definitely taxing him. The yeah. bar's wobbling a little bit. And he's Let's taking see. a little breather. He's going for two a reps in. So let see if we get this one. That was a fail on the third rep. Janashi has gone down to his knees. Hopefully there's no, no issues there, but you could see that first rep. It just didn't move the way you'd expect it to be moving for someone challenging for, for a record. I mean, like we've all said, 400 kilos is huge, but we've seen him do five with this weight before. There's obviously something up. Yeah. He looks, you can see there, shaking his head. Yeah. That is unfortunate. Janashia is calling it there. That, that's, that's a sad sight to see. Um, Hopefully he's okay. I'm, I'm hoping oh, yeah. that there's no issues there. I mean, he's gone down to the floor. I don't know if his back's hurting. And I, I don't want to make excuses, but I've seen this man pull five reps before with this weight. Yeah. That first I, rep just did not look like, you know, a man at the races. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think the strength definitely wasn't there today for, for any form of endurance or getting those repetitions out. Whether that's... The, the lockdown that sort of affected his training, whether he just didn't peak right, we'll soon find out, but Be unfortunate for Janasha, yeah. You can see the disappointment on his face. He, he doesn't look a happy man. Let's, let's hope it is just disappointment and not an injury, because, you know, he's just come back from that tricep injury at World's Strongest yeah. Man. I really hope it's not another one. But putting this into perspective, 400 kilos. I know, there's me saying. Massive weight, massive weight. <laughs> if, if, if on your bad day, you're only pulling 400 for two reps, you, you're oh. doing okay. <laughs> you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Just couldn't get it over the knees. And I think when you know the record's set at five and you're, you're struggling to get three, that, that just confidence just drains out of you very, very yeah. quickly. Hopefully he's okay. He'll live to fight another day. Unfortunately, it wasn't his day. Not that kind of flavor. That kind. 
Then add a floral punch of lychee, slammed into a tangy burst of little corn. Give it zero sugar, but still make it taste good. Paradise good. Then pack it with powder, so you can outdo you. That's what goes into New Rain Lilacoid Lychee. A total body fuel. At Casa Water, we have a clear vision to create an independent water retailer providing an excellent water service to all our customers at the best possible price. We're now the second largest water retailer in the UK, servicing more than 350,000 customers. Visit castlewater.co.uk to find out more, get an instant quote and switch to the UK's leading independent water retailer. Animal is a state of being. It's right where discipline collides with intensity, and you either have it or you don't. Now, some of us are born with it. Others, well, they just have to work harder than everyone else to get it done. So ask yourself, am I driven? Motivated? Disciplined? I adapt. I push my limits. I persevere. I am animal. And now over to Estonia, where our colleague Ralph Sanikov is talking to Rauno Heinla after his world record 400 kilos for six repetitions. Tell me, how do you feel? <sighs> Tired. This hard, like it was the last lift, I haven't done never. Always, if it's so hard, I quit. But today, I couldn't. And I did. But... You pulled six. I'm so happy about this result because one month before in training I did six rep easily. But in this one month I have done so much training and I'm 100% over trained because on this Monday I lift 320. It was so, so hard. I was sure I can't do good results today, but it's okay. How do you feel being in front of su such a large virtual audience? That's incre incredible to do something because, like, you know, everywhere in the world, nothing happening, only some small competition, and that's it. But the boost, they organize for us something big, what we can do, for what we can train, and I like it. Okay. And what's next for you? Actually, next should be. Max deadlift, but I need to rest a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And do you have any messages for sparring strongmen or watchers? Just keep training and don't quit. Next year, we definitely have many competitions. Thank you. Thank you. And now over to Georgia, where our on ground team is speaking with Janashia about today's lift. 
uh, yeah, this is my favorite event, but I cannot uh, pull six reps. I don't know what's happening because I one year I no compete because I uh, injured my triceps last year ago. So, then I don't know. Today is no good day for me. <laughs> Uh, today is not much for me. Uh, how, how does it feel uh, being on the fr in front of such a big virtual audience? Uh, you, you, uh, uh, for me it's no problem because I compete this five years this, uh, oh, and every competition is many people in this area. This is no problem for me. Problem is one year no compete. It's, for me, it's, it's mentally for problem. Problem is it, it, that's it. Okay. Uh, what's the next word? Next uh, World Strongest Man, November, and I I must uh, training is very hard, and and November is a um, good 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 results. Uh, World Strongest Man, yes. Uh, message, thank you very much for this event because I, I need uh, like this uh, competition, this uh, like events because I, I need more competitions because uh, I, uh, one year uh, I no compete and every, every, every month I compete, I compete uh, and for me it's very good for, uh, for go out to uh, very strong and strong. Thank you. So there we have it from Rauno Heinla and Constantine Janasia. I'm going to be honest, Laws, I really felt for Constantine Janasia there. He was so disappointed. Obviously, that's him being one year out of competing. This is him just trying to get back into it. You've been there yourself. You've got injured and you want to try and get back out there. It's a long road ahead of him. It is a long road. And, you know, we heard him say it there, but I think the fact that he's had this opportunity is going to be good for him. You know, obviously he wants to get back to, to the big shows like we all do. Um, he's got World's Strongest Man coming up. He's not performed well today. And unfortunately, it's hard coming back from injuries. I've been through it many, many times. And your body just doesn't do what it used to be able to do. And it takes that time to build up again. And he, it's been a good test for him. He's still, let's be honest, he still pulled 200, uh, sorry, 400 kilos for two reps. That's not too bad. Give him another three, four months solid training. Get that body kind of performing again. And I'm sure we'll see him back to his best. And obviously, Rauno Heinler there, six reps. You could see almost the disappointment that he didn't do more. Obviously, okay. knowing how, how he was feeling, say, a month ago. But I've said this time and time again um, over the, 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 the season one. It's all about peaking for the right day and, and understanding how to, to build up that training. He's probably overtrained a little bit too much and, and lifting these weights does tax that central nervous system. But he held on. He grinded out that six rep. He got the world record and I'm so pleased for him. It was awesome to see. Well, it's going to be up for grabs next weekend. We have Trey Mitchell going to be doing the 400 kilos for repetitions. I'm really looking forward to this one because I know Trey has a chance of snatching it off of Rono. Well, he knows what to be, and, and Trey's the wild card for this, isn't he? He's the, the yeah. wild card entrant this year, and Trey is a, is a real good up-and-coming strongman. He's got a bright future ahead of him, and this is really going to show us what kind of shape he's in. First time, obviously, we're going to see him compete this year. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. It's going to be a good one. A quick thanks to our presenting partner, Rain Body Fuel, our other sponsors, SBD, Castle Water, Rogue, Silverback Gymwear, Buoyant Mutt and Arslan Visuals.